and welcome to my kitchen and another chat and channel update. It's been two weeks since our last one and thanks for joining me today. Um, welcome to those of you who might be new and welcome back to everyone else who's been around for a while and I appreciate you being here. So we, um, we just finished taking entries for our latest giveaway which was sponsored by Columbia Spice Company and it's a prize pack that includes four bags of uh, spice rub and barbecue rub that are all good to season up to 25 pounds of meat so it's good for 100 pounds meat total. I have um, the envelopes all ready to go. They're right here and I've notified the winners so congratulations go out to Shade Harbor, Diane Marie Green, and the True Ray. So glad that you all won. I'm so glad that you all entered and um, we'll be talking about a new giveaway in just a few minutes. So congratulations to all of you guys. I'm so glad you won. In a um, couple of you have been, I uh, have one person who's responded to me already. And if you'll just respond to me with your address so that I can get these out in the mail this week. And then by the weekend, you'll be able to use your new spice rubs for a barbecue. It'll be great. Um, we've been busy in our kitchen making plans and I'm already thinking about the holidays. They're really not that far away and I'm thinking about recipes uh, for the holidays are coming. I'm thinking about homemade gifts, um, working on the new crafting channel which I'm hoping to be up and running the second Thursday in August and I have lots and lots of lists that I've been making um, for with respect to what we're doing for all of our channels. The key is organization and you know what this is a lot of fun but it is quite a bit of work and I just want you guys to understand in the last video we talked about possibly starting up the self-sufficiency or self-sufficient lifestyle channel and we haven't bailed on that idea it's just going to take a little time. We want to have a list of uh, 52 videos because we'll only be doing videos once a week just like on the other three supplementary channels. Um, once a week and so I want to have it on paper the ideas that I I want that we want to do to help you help yourself and maybe you know start off on this self-sufficient journey you know we're not entirely self-sufficient we don't have a homestead we live in the suburbs but we do what we can with what we have and I think that's the major key I think some people just don't even go down that path a little bit because they figure well if I can't even do if I can't do this, I'm not even going to try. So um, just keep in mind, if we decide to undertake that particular project, it's probably not going to be until next year. And a lot of you give me really great feedback. A lot of you are very excited at the idea. Um, so, you know, until that happens, you know, canning videos will take place on the kitchen channel, just like always. And then other fun ideas like that, um, you know, having to do with... Um, uh, DIYs and things that help us maintain a self-sufficient lifestyle. Rick was going to have on his channel. So there may not be a need for us to have a whole separate channel. We may just keep continuing to incorporate those videos into the channels that we currently have. So I just wanted to let you guys know that um, this past week we featured uh, rhubarb and blackberry uh, cobbler that was amazing and I hope that you've given it a try. I had a couple of people respond back to me and tell me that they made it and they loved it. And then we shared with you the um, the queso blanco dip. Now I used that queso blanco in an enchilada casserole that I'm going to be sharing with you this coming week. Um, let's see. We talked about the crafting channel. Uh, oh, and Rick's Tips channel. Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to both Rick's Tips and Noreen's Garden have gotten a lot of great feedback from you guys. If you are not subscribed to those channels, there's a link in the information box below and you can just click on those links and you can go over there and hit the subscribe button. We upload on Noreen's Garden every Tuesday. We upload on Rick's Tips every Saturday. And as soon as we get the ball rolling on the crafting channel, that will be every Thursday. The closer we get to Christmas, I'm probably gonna be uploading twice a week on the crafting channel. It just depends on how busy I get because it is my intention between Halloween and Christmas that we're going to do daily uploads on the cooking channel. It just depends. I don't know yet. It's something I'm toying with. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to cover. I have so many things I want to share with you and uh, 
uploading three times a week on the kitchen channel may not be enough. So I want to make sure I cover all my bases. Uh, let's see. Oh, I want to talk about my newsletter for a minute. Newsletter, thank you to all of you who have subscribed. I'm having so much fun every week writing a little something. I really love to write. And uh, I English and uh, was always one of my favorite subjects in school. I'm one of those uh, geeks who really, really like dissecting sentences. And, um, and still to this day, I really do enjoy writing. So... Um, the one thing I wanted to say was I've had some people who unsubscribe to the newsletter and that's fine. Uh, if you find that you, it's something that's not for you, no worries. I don't, I don't mind at all. No big deal. But the one thing I have noticed is, uh, um, some people when they're unsubscribing that you have to ask, you have to answer why you're unsubscribing. And some people have said that they're unsubscribing because the newsletter is spam. And I can ensure, assure you that my newsletter is not spam. The only way that you get spam is if it is unsolicited. If you sign up for something, it isn't spam. And I'm very careful and I think a lot about what I put in the newsletter every week. And it's really just a way for me to touch base with you and help you know kind of what direction I'm going in my life. It gives you a little more insight into who I am as a person, who we are as a family, what we're doing outside of you know our channels it kind of it, it's kind of just another ingredient to help you get a little insight into who we are so I'm sorry if you found it was spam but is it isn't so I just wanted to say that if you fill it out I it doesn't bother me if you want to unsubscribe really but um, it isn't I just want you to know please don't say that it's spam because if you signed up for it it's not spam um where are we here um, oh, I was contacted by another recipe subscription service earlier this week who wanted to know if I would be willing to try out their service and they were going to, they want to send me a box that has three uh, meals in it and want me to do a review of them and I think I'm going to do it, but I want to know what you guys think. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, the whole Blue Apron thing, I think that I just kind of approached it in a way that I shouldn't have. And um, this one we might do in a different way. So let me know what you think. We, uh, I'm probably going to do it anyway, but I just want to know. I want your input. That's all. So I'm not going to tell you who it is, but I am excited that I might be able to try another um, recipe subscription service. Because overall, I think they're a good idea for some people. And I've gotten a lot of feedback from people who are single um, people who, who say like they've had parents in the hospital or they themselves have been in the hospital and this was a way for them to not have to meal plan and it was nice to have it just delivered to their door. I've had several people tell me that they're going to give Blue Apen a try or they already have signed up for it and they're getting ready to receive their first box. So I hope that, you know, the bottom line here is you are the only one who can make that decision of whether it's good for you or not. Um, with the coupon code, I think you end up paying 20 bucks. So I think we can all afford 20 bucks to give something a try. And then in the end, if you don't want another box, you don't have to get one. So let me know what you think about reviewing another subscription service. Um, I was kind of excited when I looked at their website, actually at their recipes, cause they looked really, really good. So let's see, where am I here? Oh, we're here. We're here. Have you seen these? Um, this is just a quart jar. It's a regular mouth quart jar, and it's one of these sipper tops and straws comes with it. I'm just going to take a drink because I'm thirsty. Okay. Well, this is what they are. These are put out by Ball, and this is a set of four straws and sipper lids. And these fit on a regular mouth jar, and they also make them for wide mouth jars. I got... For my personal use, I got the regular mouth jars at Walmart, but they didn't have the wide mouth. I found the wide mouth ones at my commissary. They also have these, and these are infusers that you put in a wide mouth jar, and then it has a sipper. It doesn't have a straw. I don't know that, I don't know that it's big enough for a straw, but you can sip off the, the edge without it dripping. Um, I found these and I love them, and I contacted the people at Jardin Corporation. Who is back there? Sarah. Sarah. I contacted the people at Jordan Corporation 
and I asked them if they would be willing to sponsor a giveaway here on our channel and they were gracious enough to send me two sets. So I have this is going to be a prize and I have two of these. So I'm giving two sets away of the ball sipper and infuser lids. So this contest, see, the last time I did the giveaway, I had some people who were disappointed that this is only open to people in the United States. I'm sorry, unfortunately, that's how I'm running my contests, only in the United States. It is not a slight or an affront to anyone. It's just how I operate my contests or my giveaways. It's not a contest. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is enter. So shipping outside of the United States is ridiculously expensive. I am on a budget, as I'm sure most of you are. And even to send to Canada, it would cost me $40. Okay, so that is something that you have to keep in mind. The, uh, the cost of shipping outweighs the cost of the prize. And I don't think that that's a very good thing to do. So I apologize if you're disappointed, but unfortunately that's how it's going to be. So um, let's see, the link is going to be in the information box below and to where you can go to enter. And we're going to be conducting this one a little bit differently. Make sure that you please read the rules. The rules will be in the information box below as well. I want you to read them carefully because sometimes people don't read the rules and they don't enter the right way and then they don't get counted in the giveaway. So unfortunately, that's, you know, there are rules for a reason. I have to have rules according to the YouTube uh, rules and regulations for my channel. I have to put certain things in the rules that, you know, exempl you know that it, they exempt them from any responsibility and what have you and I want you to read the rules and I want you to do what you're supposed to do so that everybody has a fair chance at winning one of these sets of sipper lid and infuser lid so I think that'll be a lot of fun so I'm gonna send you to my website this time and I'm gonna have you send me an email message I'm gonna collect all those email messages and then I'm going to select the two winners from a random draw and that's how we're going to do that. So the uh, giveaway is going to be open from today, which is July 27th, until August the 8th. And the winners are going to be selected by random drawing on or about August 10th, or as soon as is convenient for me. It usually is on the day that I say. And then the winners will be notified, and then I will make the announcement on both the, uh, the blog or the website and here on this chat and channel update. I'm going to start doing the chat and channel updates every other week, so I think that makes more sense because it gives me a little more time in between to, you know, have things to talk about because sometimes I don't have something to talk about every week. So, uh, as always, if there's something that you'd like to see or suggest, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to tell me what you think about the recipe subscription idea. And if you're not subscribed and you're new here today, please consider hitting the subscription button. And that way you'll always be up to date on what's going on here in the kitchen. Also, if you like the video today, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And um, I think that's it for today. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!